So you're from uh, Poznan in Poland, right, Simon? Yeah. Okay. And what made you want to come to the USA and work with this big farm equipment? I just, I study agriculture in Poland and I always love the farm and I have my own farm in Poland and that was a great opportunity for me uh, working on a combine like that. And uh, I meet the Greg Klenski from Poznan and he told me about this program and I just was thinking that it's something for me and I always would try to find some job in America and I did it, yeah, I find and I can work here with other guy from different countries so I make I, I meet a, a lot of new people, I make new contacts, yeah, so something like that it's great for me. Yeah. Okay, and um, you're here with Rick Farris, and uh, tell the guys back in Poland about his equipment. What do you mean, like? His machinery. Oh, the, my machinery or? What, no, the, what Rick runs. Oh, yeah, I, I think that we have something like that, the combine maybe, but the header, like 40 foot header, iron pig, so that it's something possible in Poland, yeah. But, I'm sure that I never can cut more than 1,000 acres in different countries in America, so it's amazing. Like, we cut here in 6,000 in five or six months, and this is a very bad year, so I want to go back in good year and cut much more. That would be great. Okay, and would you get the chance to run this latest, you know, 2013 model year combines in Poland in most cases? I don't think so. I don't think so that we have a combine like that. I mean, we have, but that is only few maybe, and they don't drive the people around them like me. Like, people who drive something like that in Poland must, be, must have like, much experience before. So this is great, something like that. Like, people who yeah, like me can drive the big machines like that. Okay, and what else of the USA have you got to see when you've not been working? We was in the Yellowstone Park, National Park, so that was great. And later in Glacier National Park in Montana, that was awesome too. But maybe we don't see too much, but we still, uh, we, we are a lot of time on the road, so we can driving and watch beautiful mountain and stuff like that. Okay, so if it's important you have some experience with farm machinery before you come here, correct? Yeah, but they they not machine like that. They, they are mostly old and much smaller than here. Yes, but you have to have an ability to drive it before you come to the USA, really, don't you? Yeah. Okay. But driving is not the best, best I mean, it's not the worst part. The worst part is uh, fixing something, if something is broken, and that takes a while to know the all technique stuff of the combine. Okay, but you've learned, have you learned a lot about fixing machines while you've been here and about the way they're built and the GPS systems and things like that? Here, yeah, I have a chance to drive in the engineering machines and they're using the GPS system, so only I was driving on that and that was cool, something like that. I don't think so that I can drive in on something like that in Poland, so that was amazing for okay. me. Okay. So for somebody who's in Poland and thinking about maybe coming to the USA on the Ohio program, what advice would you give to that person? Don't be shy, just go. Something like that, just, you must decide that go, yeah. You can't just spend the time to think, you know, maybe I want to go or no, just... I make decision in mod because I sent my application in the beginning of the February, I think. And in April I get decision about this that I can come here, yeah. Like John Bermore find me the place and I can work. So that was pretty quick for me, yeah. So Okay, good. Alright Simon, well we hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. Um, and maybe some of the guys in Poland will see this. Thank you very much. I hope so. Thank you.